We need to talk. Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles is a great game. Not many arena fighters have been able to flesh out so many mechanics to create a fun and engaging combat system. In the history of arena fighters, and trust me, I've played a lot of them, only a handful were able to create such an engaging combat system in my opinion, and Demon Slayer has accomplished that. So it feels like they really achieved so much, but then I think they dropped the ball on things that should not be problems. It's almost like they did the hardest part, which was to develop a good arena fighter, but then stopped just before making making it perfect. Now I'm not the first one to talk about this, plenty of other creators have done it, but I'm hoping that with this video we can become a more united voice in asking for certain things that the game actually needs. There's a lot about it that I would improve, the netcode for instance, it still isn't good, but it does feel like a massive improvement over what Storm had. There was a lot of work done there and I think that has to be recognized, but asking for a better netcode is basically asking them to redesign the whole game from scratch again. And at that point we're not fixing the game, we're just making something new. This isn't a video about things that Demon Slayer could have done better. No, this is a video on stuff that Demon Slayer can actually fix right now, but more importantly things that need to be fixed. So this is my hashtag fix Demon Slayer video where we'll go over four things that absolutely need to be fixed as soon as possible. This is a video addressed to CyberConnect2, Sega and Aniplex and if you guys agree with the message make sure to tweet or retweet with hashtag fix Demon Slayer. And if it wasn't obvious already this is coming from a place of love. If the game wasn't fantastic these things wouldn't be as frustrating. First issue top of the priority list the PlayStation 4 input delay. Even though this doesn't affect me personally I'm playing on a PlayStation 5 and it doesn't affect anyone playing on Xbox or PC, I think this is the biggest problem with the game right now since the vast majority of players are on PlayStation 4. Which means the vast majority of players are playing a version of the game that I simply cannot recommend. And that is because of the input delay that's present on the PlayStation 4 version. Every game mode, even the menus, have an input delay of about 15 frames. It could be more, it could be less, I don't have the precise tools to measure that. But what I do know is that it is very noticeable. Not only did I test the PlayStation 4 version with a DualShock 4, I also tested I tested it with a dual sense, and then I also tested it on a PlayStation 4 Pro and a PlayStation 4 Slim. The delay is present everywhere. This made the story mode experience not as good as PlayStation 5. It was particularly infuriating during quick time events when you have those timed buttons and you have to press the button ahead of time, otherwise you just can't land the perfect timing. And the rhythm minigames feel completely off. During exploration bits, the character feels heavy and sluggish and that offline delay stacks up with the online delay, which means PlayStation 4 players are never playing an online match below 20 frames of delay. And since there's crossplay between PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 this means PlayStation 4 is always at a disadvantage. Fixing this would even the playing field for all players but not only that it might actually fix some other problems that we're experiencing right now. For instance desync issues. When playing online matches sometimes something funny will happen. We're gonna look at these two players that are playing the same match and you have each player's point of view here. This is from a competition that I held on Twitch last week and both players were streaming this match so we can see exactly what's happening. It starts just fine as you can see the match is the same on both screens until about 50 seconds on the first round. There's a bit of confusion with the Shinobu dashing, but Zenitsu is also dashing with the Tanjiro assist. Shinobu uses Nezuko to escape in one of the matches, but doesn't in the other. And from this point on, both players are just playing a completely different match. And they're both focused on doing their best, so it's impossible to message them mid-match, meaning we can only let them know once the round is over, and it's a major bummer because both players thought they won their match. When in reality, it turns out, the match wasn't valid. So they redo the lobby and are able to play a couple of matches without a desync. And then on game 3, once again, everything starts off just fine and one of the players is able to win a round. But then something very weird happens. Round starts, Zenitsu misses the thunderclap, but on the other game, the thunderclap comes out later and actually connects. Now what's weird is that the game actually goes back to normal, both players are synced up again. But now their resources are completely different in each screen. Shinobu has already taken damage, the Tanjiro assist has different cooldowns, but the rest of this round plays kind of fine despite these differences. The thing is, Zenitsu is gonna win this round much faster on one stream than the other. So even though Zenitsu won on both games, round 3 is gonna be completely desynced. And this issue can happen in any time, in any place, but what I've noticed is that it is a lot more frequent when PlayStation 4 players are playing against PlayStation 5. Which is what I meant when I said that by fixing the PlayStation 4 input delay, maybe you'll fix some other things along the way. It also happens a lot more on the Mount Natagumo 
last stage, aka the spider forest, but it can happen on any stage. If there's a desync issue that the game cannot fix, what it should do is just terminate the match. Why are both players able to win? Why is the game replacing the desynced player with a random ass CPU? This is a big deal, especially in ranked. If two players can force this desync to happen, they can just grind points forever. I'm not saying that's what's happening here in the leaderboards, but that point difference is just suspicious. Maybe Europe is just built different, I don't know. Now, the community has been avoiding that particular stage because of this issue, but it's not exclusive to that stage, it can happen anywhere, and it's a major bummer, especially if it happens during a tournament. And speaking of tournaments, this game needs a way to spectate matches. I've seen a lot of folks asking for a tournament mode or an endless mode because they came from Storm and that's how they used to spectate matches. You joined an endless lobby and just spectated the players playing before you. But I think we need to be clearer in what we're asking for exactly, because we don't actually need an endless or a tournament mode. We just need a way to spectate. Storm 4 released with an endless mode, but players would just sit in the lobby and not be able to spectate matches. I is that what you're asking for? Because that's what it sounds like when you say that we need an endless mode. Now, if the way they're able to make you spectate matches is by adding an endless mode, then by all means. But what we really require is a way to spectate matches, whether it's an endless mode or some other solution. Especially since this game actually blocks share play on PlayStation, which is usually my go-to solution whenever there's no spectator mode. That's the whole reason why I'm able to put together competitions for My Hero Wants Justice, a game that also won't let you spectate matches, but at least it allows for share play. It really feels like with this game they went out of their way to not let anyone watch any online match ever. And I wonder if it's because they were aware of the other online problems, the desync issues. Because we would have definitely noticed those a lot faster if we were able to spectate matches. Spectator mode is a must-have feature for cultivating a competitive scene. There's always that argument that this game is casual, it's not meant to be played competitively, and to that I say absolutely not. Not only are the mechanics of this game built for competitive play, casually this game just has no future. There's no content to keep playing, the one thing that you have left in Demon Slayer at this point after you finish the story is to hone your skills, get better at the game and then put those skills to the test competitively against another player. That's it. That's all this game has left. Demons will come out soon, it will be fun to check them out, but casually, that content will be dead within a week. Competitively, demons bring endless possibilities and a change to the meta potentially and it will be a lot of fun to like discover what they're really capable of. Competitive is what's gonna make this game live in the long term and we're losing players every single day because it's really hard to put a tournament together with this feature missing and players feel like they have nothing left to do in the game. What's the point of improving if there's no tournaments to attend? There's one final issue and I'll confess it's one I don't know much about because I have no experience with it. This is a PC exclusive issue. Ranked matches on PC seem to be completely busted. First of all, the leaderboards showed hackers immediately on day one. Grinding for ranked is one of the few things that you can do solo after you beat story mode and it's very demotivating when the top people are just blatant cheaters. And so far they've been completely ignored by both the developer and the publisher. It's like they're saying, yep, th that's normal, this is fine. No man, this, this is your game, be at least a little bit proud of it. Because these people on top of the leaderboards, they're just walking all over you. But the biggest issue here is the ranked matches themselves, which players have had a lot of trouble finding. Usually when you find a player, you join a room and that player is either there already or joins soon afterwards. On the PC, you can be stuck on an infinite joining screen, which means the game found someone but can't put both players in the same lobby for some reason. Sometimes it errors out and you can try again, but others you're just stuck there. Casual matches are fine on PC, so I'm really not sure what's happening here. This is only for ranked. And for some reason, your region on PC is also tied to the game's language. So if you choose English, it doesn't matter if you're in Europe, the game will put you in North America. If you want to change to Europe, you gotta change your game's language to French or German, you know, th the two languages in Europe. Which, hey, at least it's a workaround, but it's, it's still a weird issue. So to keep this message very simple and streamlined, in my opinion, hashtag fix Demon Slayer should focus on four things. The PlayStation 4 input delay has to go, the desync issue in online matches, spectator mode needs to be added, and PC ranked matches need to fix, along with the region stuff and ban some hackers on the leaderboards. I mean, you don't even need people to report hackers, they're right there on the leaderboards. And if you agree with any of this, make sure to hashtag fix Demon Slayer on Twitter. From my understanding, there are plans to add spectator mode next year, and the Hinokami Chronicles account has said that, yay, we're looking into the PS4 delay. That's not good enough. They either already knew that this was an issue and decided to, you know, let's be quiet, hopefully people won't notice it. Or it didn't come up in playtesting, which is maybe an even more serious offense. And hey, we're looking into it is not the same as acknowledging the problem, saying, well, yeah, you're right, well, we've heard reports, we've confirmed they're correct, we're gonna fix it. It's just a PR answer.
answer that says, yeah, we're looking into it. Which can always result in, ah, we didn't find it to be an issue. And by saying we're looking into it, then yeah, you're happy, you're quiet, because you think they're working on the problem, and that's not necessarily true. And there's obviously a lot more. I've seen a lot of glitches and game-breaking stuff, but I feel like those only happen once in a while. These issues that I've decided to focus on, they are a lot more present. So if possible, let's focus on simplifying our message so these bigger problems receive their full focus and attention. But that's it for me. I'll leave my fixed Demon Slayer tweet in the pinned comment down below. So if you guys just want to retweet that, be my guest. If you want to tweet yourself with the hashtag fixed Demon Slayer, that's also very helpful. Let's fix this game. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Globku and I'll see you next time. Bye.